will start promptly on time. Uh, today we have Edwin. Edwin and I have been friends for 20 years at least, right? At least. Yeah. So, so we will be a colleague in, uh, in a company called Anderson Consulting. <laughs> and, and I think Edwin has moved on to better things. <laughs> I hope so. Right? Uh, Edwin actually has a very interesting background, right? Uh, um, we have tried, we've started with corporate like, 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 like myself, mm -hmm. right? And then he went on to a startup, yep. uh, several startups actually, yes. right? Um, and now he's with uh, Horton Works, yep. right? Which is um, which is actually the service provider for Hadoop. And yep. Hadoop is actually the uh, massively uh, non-SQL database, yep. right? Which everyone is using for big data at this particular point in time, right? right? And, and Hadoop is actually open source, yes. if I'm not mistaken, yes. right? So basically what Horton Work does is that they provide the services to support very much like what Red Hat is doing for uh, uh, Linux, yep. right? So, so Today, what I need to do is going to share a bit about his experience, as well as you know uh, what what Hadoop can do for startup, right? Uh, and then I hope that you guys enjoy it. I mean, thank you very much. No, thank you, Chuck. Thank you all. Thank you for the opportunity. So, yes, let's take it as me trying to share about Hadoop. I am not professed to be expert in Hadoop, but uh, let's get through the zoo. And you understand what I'm saying? About the zoo. So, I uh, just want to share. Uh, today about how the journey is for Hadoop and how we have got from the doing batch jobs to streaming mm -hmm. and now to even on the cloud. Okay. Um, and since uh, I work for Hortonworks, I need to share a bit about open source and how we work with open source and, and what the philosophies that, that, that we So, let's start with a trio. Does, do you all know why it's named Hadoop? <laughs> Anyone? No. no? Well, maybe someone who is watching this video may know. Um, Hadoop actually started out of Yahoo. Oh. Yeah, so, so the, it, it was from Yahoo uh, who wanted a really affordable way of managing huge amount of data, and so they came up with this idea of, of Hadoop. And one of the engineers was thinking of a name to call this project. And, and, and his kid has a pet elephant called Name Hadoop. <laughs> so that's how Hadoop came to be. Okay, um, so yeah, that's the, that's the pet elephant. So anyone who's involved in Hadoop knows that the elephant is symbolic And the journey started in 2006, and when it first began, it was really just a batch job trying to manage a huge amount of data by using um, the Hadoop data file system. And, and, and there were a lot of limitations and a lot of things that cannot be done because of this batch processing. And of course, as it evolved, um, we started having more and more projects. By the way, Hadoop is part of the Apache Foundation, so it's an open source foundation. So inside the foundation, there are a lot of projects. There are about close to 30 projects or more. And each project has its own name. So you have Hi, you have Pig, um, you have Uzi, um, you have, well, that's why I call it Uzi. All right. Um, so, so with that, as with this evolution, you find that uh, in 2011, came Yang. Um, some people call, say Yang means yet another resource negotiator. Mm. Right, but Yan actually was the turning point for Hadoop to be able to do more than just batch mm. and be able to handle uh, non-structured as well as string data. Okay. So today you find that um, again more and more projects are in, in, in Apache uh, and more and more things have been done in, 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 in this foundation uh, being open source. And we have now been able to move from on-premise to from the, the data center and now even on the cloud. So you are now able to use Hadoop to manage your data on the cloud as well as on-premise. Now this is uh, a study by, I think it's IEC, which 
says that today there are about 4 CD of data in the market and the growth rate for data is tremendous because they expect that by tomorrow you're going to hit 44 CD. Okay? And, and here it's, and you will see down the, as I present my, 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 my presentation, you will see that why is the data growing so quickly? Right? And, and, and a lot of companies that did not realize that they are sitting on a very important source of monetization, and that's data. In fact, some people claim that data is today's goal. Which is usually the case in the past. 
Today, people want to analyze data that has been streamed in real time. And the ability to do that is, is, is available today. Yeah. Um, there are information, there are certain data that you must capture it at that point when it's been streamed. If not, you will lose its, its value or you just you know, have no use for it later at all. You just want to use it at the point in time and once you have analyzed it, you just throw it aside. Okay. So, so this is you not know, the reason why streaming data is one of the, the trends that we feel that um, Hadoop can actually help and support you in your data management uh, 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 approach. So with, with all this, with these four trends, um, we do see that um, they are creating new business models and new business um, organizations where they provide with systems inside, personalized services, uh, better balances, supply chains, or even new products and services and operational efficiencies. Right? Um, and because of that, we find that um, we really today need to be able to help customers and organizations to better use whatever source of data they have, whether it's data at rest, this is something that is coined by Hortonworks, so data at rest means data that is you typically keep historically and data in motion, which is streaming data that will come in in real time that you want to analyze uh, in real time at the point where the data is available. Uh, and together with both data at rest and data in motion, whether it's on premise or on the cloud, um, you need to provide a means of actionable intelligence so that uh, organizations can then make use of that for whatever purpose Typically, it's going to be either to monetize or for operational efficiency. So this is what we see as the architecture for the future for data management. Uh, it's either going to be at a data center or at a cloud or both, right? So we have actually customers today who have certain type of data that they keep it in their own data center, uh, whether for you know regulatory reasons like banks, where you know. They have no choice but they have to keep certain information within the data center and they can put it in the cloud. However, they could use the cloud when it comes to processing and for analytics uh, purposes. Right? Um, they just pump the data there for, for a temporal use by the analytics engine or the algorithms engine. And once they're finished, they remove it, they wipe it off the cloud, and it goes back to the data center. Right? So, so this has to coexist. And I think um, no organization can avoid this trend. And this is where things are coming to close. So, what is the master, why do you need to master the value of data and why do you need to embrace an open approach to, to how things are being done? Um, so typically, if you are in software development, you know this SDLC life cycle, right? Architecture, you develop, you distribute, and you support. Quite extended and we've done this for a long time. But in an open source environment, open source community, our core belief is innovation is happens best not in isolation, but in collaboration. Right? So you always hear about open source being a community. It is a community, right? And and and, and if you compare that to a proprietary approach. No matter how big the organization is, and we will not name the organization for protecting innocent, but um, every organization, no matter how big, how global they are, they have always have a limitation in terms of number of developers or accounts that they can uh, hire. And as a result, that uh, innovation again will be a function of the number of accounts that they have. But in an open source world, there's a limited number of people, a limited number of contributors. Um, so, you know, again, that also reflects the function of the innovation and how fast things move. Now, because things move so fast, and Hortonworks is totally supportive of open source. As a result, in fact, most of our developers are part of the open source community, right? So we have about 30% of the open source Hadoop community is actually working for Hotman Books. Mm. Right? And, and, and we have uh, uh, an influential play and role in being uh, uh, Apache committers. 
So open source is not uh, without structure and organization. It's not you can do whatever you want and whatever you want, right? So when, when an open source community come in and said they want to put something, they want to, to, to improve something, they want to change something, they have to go through a committee of committers. The committers are the one who would actually check it. Um, they would actually say yes or no, and if it's uh, accepted, then it goes into one of the projects, and then it gets accepted, and then you know, and, and that, that, that development piece goes into whatever that is being uh, contributed for, right? But otherwise, it would not get it, okay? Um, so with that, Portalworks as a company does have a lot of influence in the Hadoop and the way things evolve in the Hadoop program. But what do you need for more open source? I mean, you, 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 you could, for example, like in the case of origami, I could give you all this and you can get it off the web. But why do you need, still need someone to help you to put it together? I mean, you know, another analogy I would use is if you are a cook, I can give you all the ingredients, right? I mean, you, 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 you can go and buy it, you can you know, do it, but, but then sometimes you, you, you do still want to have a chef to be able to put the ingredients together in a particular dish because the chef maybe has a special sauce or special uh, uh, recipe uh, in terms of combining the, the different ingredients. Yeah. So, one of the reasons is because in open source, because of its multiple projects and each project has its own life, it doesn't mean that everything will work together. Um, and that's a, that is the role that Hortonworks will do is we will be able to take the relevant components from the different projects, test it, um, integrate it, make it commercially viable and of commercial standards, stabilize it and provide that to customers who in return pay us for subscription which is in a way support for the use of that product. Yeah. Yes, so the pace is actually you know, um, very fast and it depends on um, what you want to use and what you can use it for. But Portalworks also can help you as a value add for our customers in your implementation of using a Hadoop adoption of Hadoop, right? Um, so, yeah. So you, you may sometimes want to use the latest, but latest may not be the best for your organization to adopt. As a result of that, that's where we come in and I said earlier on that that's how we give you a stable version for you to use the commercial world, that when you run mission critical systems, you know that that particular version will be able to support you um, for your needs without giving you too much problems. Okay? And that's what Hotbooks does, right? We maintain the versions that you can use in the commercial world for mission critical systems. When it comes to security governance and operations, the community doesn't really bother because uh, typically they are more developers. They would just like to develop their pet projects and do what they like. But what we do is we do we value add by giving you security and governance in the product that we provide to the customers um, because that's what cus uh, corporate customers need so that they can run again mission critical systems using the, uh, the hardware that we provide. And if you want to go to use the version from open source, which we will not stop you, I mean, we will, we will definitely say it's good, we can do that, that's your choice. But then again, if you are doing running mission critical systems, um, do you want to run it based on faith, hope, and a prayer? Because if you are going to get community to, to, to support you in your usage, then you have basically running your mission critical systems based on faith, hope, and prayer. Because uh, if you want support from the community, you can submit requests for help. It doesn't mean that someone will respond to you in time because there's no SLA. And if someone does respond to you, it doesn't mean that it will work. The patch may not work, right? So, so that's why I, I, I came up with these uh, uh, three things about using open source. Nothing wrong with that, right? You can use it. It's, definitely it's okay. 
but then you'll be running on clean, open, and fresh. So, so I hope for enterprise customers, you will consider that when you are looking at, at uh, an open source uh, approach or products or systems, uh, and, and then you don't uh, just take it as free. Uh, that's, that's always never free much. So how do, how do we then portables fit into this uh, software lifecycle? Basically, with our open source DNA, uh, we will collaborate, right? Even for the architecture, from, from getting the business requirements and for planning what's needed in, in, in the uh, uh, technology or platform, we will collaborate with our partners and customers. So we do work very closely with them. We do get needs from our partners and from our customers to tell us what they need in, in their Hadoop. Uh, and as we do that, the development will then be done in collaboration with the open source community. Right? So that's always done hand in hand. We rely 100% on the open source community for development work. We do not do any proprietary. Um, so everything you get from us is open source based, and, and you, you, you get the GPO licenses and you, can, you get a source code. Um, and of course, you can therefore then make your own uh, uh, changes if you like to, and make your own development if you like to. And we will encourage you then contribute back to the community and then go through the process of the committers and, and, and so on and so forth. And when we distribute, we do distribute it to, to our end customers either from us ourselves or through our partners. So we have a, a, an ecosystem of partners who do work very closely with us to, to either. Um, um, we bundle uh, Hawthorne Works into, into their solution, or um, they do outright and sell uh, Hawthorne Works as, as, a, as a product uh, with subscription. And the support comes back to us. So we, we have the responsibility of providing you with a certain amount of uh, service level and making sure that you get all the right patches and fixes so that you will be commission critical systems will be able to run. So very quickly, if I will sum up on what we offer uh, as a platform of Hadoop. Uh, Hotelworks provides you with solutions that you can use for cybersecurity, enterprise data warehousing, and it's all based on Hadoop. Yeah? Uh, on the right hand side, that is the value that we provide when you become a subscribed customer. Uh, you get a subscription, you get SmartSense, which is a um, connectivity tool that we use to be able to understand even before you report a problem to us, we know what's going on, right? So, so you get that. Uh, and on top of that, you, if you need further higher level support, you know, we do have the offering as well. And of course, educational services. Um, so in the world of Hawthorne Works, there are certified um, schemes that you can take where you can be a certified uh, uh, administrator, you can be a certified developer. Yeah. Uh, you're going to carry that badge along with you, just like in Red Hat. Uh, we do have certified engineers. Here we have similar schemes available to people who are interested to develop their career um, on, on the hard space. Um, if there's implementation services that are required by particular customers, yes, we do have services. And of course, you will always have that community connection, right? Um, that DNA will not be able to be cut off uh, when you use Hawthorne books because we are still part of the open source community. Yeah. Whether you, you deploy on a, on a, in a data center or you deploy in a cloud, uh, we can work either way. Uh, it's symbiotic, so, so you can even have it uh, done at the same time. Yeah. So I just wanted to go into a bit of uh, use cases uh, of how people are using uh, so-called Hadoop Big Data. Um, <coughs> so you look at energy and utility space. Uh, typically, the applications will be in the space of smart metering. So you have utility companies who have all their meters, sensors um, connected to a Hadoop, Hadoop uh, data, uh, data management platform so that all the data can be collected into Hadoop. And with that, they can use it, extract it out, go into some application to analyze it, or even use some business intelligence or some analytical tool at the front end to show all the nice graphs and, and, and all that so that they can, again, 
The intent is to provide you actionable intelligence. Yeah. Um, Whether it's uh, asset data, I mean, you want to make sure that your, your assets are being used, they are utilized efficiently, um, that there are number of uh, PT, I mean, the, the, the breakdowns, the level of breakdowns is, is lowered, or otherwise, yeah, you know, things like that. Um, Customer surveys, customer centricity, this is one of the big things that uh, a lot of companies want to know about how to have a better relationship with their customers. So that, that, that theme of customer centricity, you find that if I go through the different uh, industry examples, um, that will be quite common across all of them. Retail sales. Um, people want to have a more balanced supply chain so that you don't have too much stock on hand or have stock that doesn't move, you want it done in low time, you want to know how, how people are buying from different shops, for example, you want to know how the individual is consuming the different products or the preference for the products uh, in, in, in your breadth of offerings, again, yes. So these are things that, you know, using Hadoop is another way of providing you the data that your analytics uh, engine or systems are able to, uh, to provide you actionable. Sensors, uh, a particular assembly line is it efficiently uh, producing the products that you want at the time frame that you want or not? Right? So, so typically, yeah, it's it's, it's data that is real, real time or data that is historical. Uh, Hadoop is one way for you to capture and manage your data sources. Right? So, back to our core beliefs, uh, we believe in collaboration and. As Chuck said earlier, I'm, I'm always very uh, appreciative as well as uh, respectful of, of uh, startup entrepreneurs because you have taken this step um, to go on to your own journey that you've chosen to take. Um, I, I, I'm probably not as uh, as uh, you know uh, as as heroic as you are because <laughs> I'm still working for a company <laughs> for an organization. Um, but, but yes, I mean, I appreciate you guys uh, you know, doing what you're doing uh, and, and I know it's, uh, you make a lot of sacrifices for doing that. But I always believe in collaboration. Right? Everything we do, uh, there's always a way to collaborate and, and Portal Works can collaborate with startups. Uh, we do offer you uh, what we call a free sandbox. If you so desire to start off uh, developing something on, on Hadoop, uh, please feel free to let me know or go to our website, get a free sandbox. Limited for a note, um, you can use it uh, without any time limitation. Right. And yeah, so we, we we will, and I think as long as other is around, we will be an open source company, 100% open source. Um, and we want people to use Hadoop for mission critical systems. That's it. Yes. You know, given your experience in uh, startups, right? I mean, yeah. the startups do not run mission critical system yeah. day one, right? What they we usually do is that we play around with uh, yeah. different tools, yeah. right? And then decide on one, yeah. right? And then see how to implement sure. uh, before we go out, right? Yeah. So it's great that you guys have uh, a sandbox. Is yeah. there is there any other programs that you guys have, or that is available out there, mm. right? That allows you know startup to really devil with uh, non-SQL type databases like Hadoop, right. right? So that they could prepare, you know, perhaps, you know, going towards the mission critical in the future. Sure. Right? I mean, you, the, the example you showed, right? Yeah. Some of those are a typical SQL database yeah. type implementation, right. but they have chose to go on, go no. you know, yeah. go on non-SQL, right? right? So what, what, what would your advice be, you know, to the startups to, to look at the, the, the journey, so to speak? I mean, I, my, my advice personally, of course, uh, 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 I, would, I would have come from a little bit more biased angle um, that is uh, that for you to embrace Hadoop, <laughs> right, as, as, as a starting point, right? Um, so once you, you decided to use Hadoop as a way to manage your data, I would suggest that, uh, yes, please get under the sandbox. Um, the sandbox provides you with a commercial-grade 
I do often. Um, nothing, I will not stop you from going to Apache. If you want to be the heroes and you want to be in the leading edge, by all means go to Apache. Get all the latest there. Um, you know, do all your tinkering, testing yourself, integration yourself, and then get your own version of Padu. Um, so quite ready for your own use, that's fine. But why not go to our sandbox, use it first. Start developing applications on top of it. Use, look at us as purely a way to manage sources of data. Whether it's real time uh, or otherwise. Yeah? Um, and once you have that, and, and, and I mean, there's always room for SQL uh, as well. In fact, we can manage SQL database, by the way. <laughs> you, you can, uh, using Hadoop, if you so desire, right? Uh, but, but, you know, that gives you also a much wider uh, availability and, in terms of how you want to do things. So, yes. how, um, uh, so let's say, for example, I don't know what Hadoop is in the version now, right? right. Okay. So how far are you guys from the leading edge, you know? At least, uh, okay. you know what I'm saying now? Yeah, because yeah, because you, you have guys who are on the other side, right? Yeah. But, in, but for you guys, you have to take one stable version yes. versus another, yes. right? Yes. So how far would it, uh, are you guys? Okay, um, I would say we are very far. Um, I mean, we, like, like Chuck has mentioned, we, we do need to be at a certain version, right? So today we're at 2.6, which is the latest uh, uh, release. Um, we will release 3.0 in about six months' time. Right? That's the plan. I mean, that's the whole meeting with um, So, so I would say today is probably a difference of about two quarters away, kind of thing. Um, I mean, 3.0 that we will get to in the end of the year uh, is is what we will probably have as the latest in Apache. Yeah, um, we we cannot wait too long as well because our customers and our users, commercial users and otherwise, they themselves also keep up to date on what's going on in Apache, and and, and they will know their new features in Apache that they will want to have, right? And and we would rather have that in our offering than to just create a particular patch or fix just for a particular customer because that doesn't make business sense, right? So so yeah. That's kind of where we are. I hope that, I hope that answers your question, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't know exactly where we are. But, but, kind of yeah. Yeah. It just give us a gauge, right? Because yeah. if you look at it from the staff standpoint, yes. it's very dynamic. Yes. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. So, uh, um, in one sense, it's good to actually have a stable base yes. to work from, right? Yes. But on the other hand, they do not have the resources to sure. buy the service or buy the product. Sure. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. Right? So, so, I'm just looking at what is the you know, how, how the startup yeah. really try on Apache, yeah. and then when do they really, you know, go into, into Horton, you know? But in, 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 at the end of the day, it's, it's your appetite of, of uh, adventurism, <laughs> you right. might call that, right? Because you can download 2.6 today from our website, and you download it together with the source code, yeah? So tomorrow, you can actually go to Apache, and take something from there and put it into two, our 2.6, because it becomes your own fault, your own you know, um, uh, direction that you take it out. Fine, but you can do that. So that's the, that's the, that's the good thing about working with an open source uh, vendor. You will get access to the source code. You will. Right? Just that you may not get support for any changes at the moment, right? So you do tinker into it, but you will get access to the source code. I would, I would say for startups, yes. please go and use our sandbox first. Oh, okay. Go and try it out. That's free of charge. We don't charge you for it. Sure. Right? Sure. Just go and use it first. When you start to develop and you come to a point where you are ready to deploy yes. for mission critical reasons, yes. then let's talk. So it's compatible with the Apache Hadoop? Yes, okay. it is. The, the baseline is Apache Hadoop. <laughs> it's, right, it's, it's all there, it's just that we have taken certain components from different projects and put it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, 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 the pizza is here, right? The pizza is here. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay, I mean, thank you very much. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we will still continue this.
uh, session. Maybe next week we may try, you know, uh, uh, a forum, right? Type, right? We'll see how it goes, right? But uh, 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 stay tuned for for next week, right? Thank you very much. Thank you.